So welcome to the next in our online series of messages brought to you by the friends at Sinner Church in Linfield. This is Reverend Tom Bentley, the pastor, hoping that these messages can help you in your journey of life. If you'd like to know more about Sinner Church, there'll be some information for you at the end of this video. So thanks for spending time with us. So grace to you and peace from our friend Jesus. Back in 1940, there was a book, which is now famous, entitled You Can't Go Home Again by Tom Wolfe. The book documented the story of a George Weber, who he himself was a novelist, who wrote about his hometown, and it was a bestseller across the country. But everybody in this little community found that they were being displayed by the imagination and the observation of George Weber in not a happy light, and they got so angry at him that they persecuted him. At the end of the book, George Weber, the character, says, you can't go back home to your family, back home to your childhood, back home to a young man's dreams of glory and fame, back home to places in the country, back home to the old forms and systems of things which once seemed everlasting, but which are changing all the time, back home to the escapes of time and memory. You can't go home again. It's a human condition. We try, we like to in our imagination. As we get older, we even feel fonder about our home of origin. But the entire human drama is really spelled out by a constant feeling of being lost. It's in all the great myths and stories. It's in the dramas we watch on the series, in television, the networks and all. Someone's lost and they try to get home again. They try to find themselves again. And even in our Bible, where we have the Garden of Eden, where Adam and Eve are thrown out of their home. And then when the Israelites wander in the desert for 40 years with Moses, they're in search of what? They're in search of a home. Home is not to be found. We're constantly leaving it, but why can't we find it? Well, it's because home is a psychological construct. It's not what it is, and it's not what we remember it to be. It's something else. We have to make up a story about where we came from. And so we're forever alienated from some aspects of it. Yes, there was love and cherishing there. Yes, there are fond memories, but we can't live there. Life is moving fast, too fast sometimes, and certainly we can't stay in one place. We have to go on to the next. And in that journey, we stumble along and we feel lost. Yes, there's no home, but we're always home. We're always in a place where we are received and present to all of the love and power that made us. In the 139th Psalm, the psalmist says, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. The psalmist realizes that he's never left the divine. He couldn't if he wanted to. The divine is present in him, around him, and through him, and through everyone he meets and everything he sees. This is the home of homes. This is the place that centers our soul. Yet, most of our life is spent wandering around looking for it. In the gospel, we have lots of stories of coming home. In the beginning of the gospel of John, we have a story about these young men who have heard of this guy, Jesus. One of them, Philip, invites Nathaniel to come meet this guy, Jesus. Philip went and found Nathaniel and told him, we found the one Moses wrote of in the law, the one preached by the prophets. It's Jesus, Joseph's son, the one from Nazareth. Nathaniel said, Nazareth, you gotta be kidding. But Philip said, come, see for yourself. When Jesus saw him coming, he said, there's a real Israelite, not a false bone in his body. Nathaniel said, 
Where do you get that idea? You don't know me, Jesus answered. One day, long before Philip called you here, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael exclaimed, Rabbi, you are the son of God, the king of Israel. To be known through and through is to be home. God knows us through and through. Jesus knew Nathanael before he ever arrived. It's a powerful moment. It's a moment of recognition. It's a moment that we have to turn to now in our life when, yes, there's many things crashing around us. Maybe our story of home is one filled with despair and frustration or fading memory. Maybe those we've loved have gone now to join that space with God and we feel lonely, but we're always home. The psalmist knew that. It's in our very bones to be at home with our divine creator. We just have to know it. When we can recognize that the presence of the divine is here and empowering, then our life is changed. Nathaniel didn't just say, well, that's nice, Jesus. He followed Jesus. His life was different after that. He knew he could be at home in the fullness of grace, walking with this man. And he didn't know what he was getting into. And as you read the passage after what we read today, you'll see that Jesus says things are going to get tough and weird. But Nathaniel forever felt in a space of holy presence because that's what home really is. It's not a physical place. It's not a geographic place. It's not even a place of all assembled relationships and memories that we put together. We can't go home to that again because we never really had it. It's a place of presence, divine, abiding, and eternal presence. That's the mystery of faith. That's why it empowers people to take such risks. Once we all know we're sort of orphans and with what we've made up, we can truly be in the embrace of the loving one forever who calls us to the home we've always been in. In Jesus' name, amen. So thanks again for spending time with us. If you'd like to know more about Center Congregational Church, you can go online at center-church.org. And of course, we'd always love to hear from you. You can email us or call us at the addresses above. So peace and best wishes. Goodbye.